So this is the uh, part three of my media server build. So for the uh, software, what I'm using is a thing called Plex. Uh, great piece of software this, and what it allows you to do is basically run a server, and then off that server you can stream media to computers, uh, mobile devices, and TVs. It's really easy to use. You simply go to plex.com, plexapp.com, and you download. So I think the server is only available in Windows at the moment, but some people have got it working in Linux. So you install that on your master's machine where you're going to be putting all your media, and then any machine that you want to have be playing the media, you put the Plex Media Center. And then it's quite easy to set up. If you've got a basic network set up, it'll just automatically find the server for you. There's no need to set it all up. So the great thing about this is that it works on mobile. I've got it on working on my Android. Um, there are a few bugs with it. Um, you do have to pay for it as well. I think it's like three pound, about five dollars. But you can find it on the internet for free. And uh, you can also watch. Uh, your media from outside of your house so you don't have to be within your local network you can connect it all up if you have a uh, port forwarding all sorted out and it's best to have a uh, dedicated static IP so that's what I'm going to be using uh, basically I've already done quite a lot of the work as you can see this is the um, management for Plex it w runs its own web server and you can access this from internal networks and external just by typing in your IP of the server, as you can see, I'm using IPv IP6 on this server, but it's uh, quite easy to do. So what you do is you set up what you want. So if you want uh, to make a movie category, you press movies, and then you can type whatever you want, and you can add what folders you want. So I've got all my media on K. This is a uh, NAS. So it's really easy to uh, add things, and it uh, manages itself. When you put new uh, media into folders, it will automatically recognize and uh, put it in the software. So it's quite easy to use. Um, don't know why, I'm, there we go. It takes a few seconds to come th and load up every so often. But I've got a couple of cartoons on, and it's quite good at displaying things and I've got Simpsons here this runs back quite a while so it gives you basic information it gives you the uh, latest uh, like DVD type cover for it also gives you the rating of the show and the producers it gives you a nice rating up here as well of the actual show nice background and it gives you all the seasons at the bottom I'm not going all that, I'm still missing season 24 and a couple of episodes out of this one. But it's really good, it tells you everything about the show, gives you a quick preview, the name, also shows you what sta uh, what uh, resolution it is at, so we've got standard definition, the encoding of it, the audio, and the type of audio that suits. So it's really good at doing things, you can change the artwork you can fix anything that's not right and it gets all this information uh, meta uh, it's a type of file format and it that comes off the uh, art of wikipedia and stuff so it's really good at uh, making sure that the shows are right and getting good backgrounds for them so everyone likes jackass it's just really good at doing things it, it's good at uh, sorting things, so that's why good reason why I use it. So click on the actual episode, and it'll give you more information. So on my computer, what I've done is put the Plex Media Center. This is what uh, takes all the uh, shows and the movies from the server and displays it on your own computer. So it's really easy to navigate, it doesn't use a mouse, you just use your uh, keyboard, up, down, left and right arrows. So have a look at cartoons, it shows you everything basically to different how you want to see it. Well, and I just want to show you the face that you could have... Go into whatever episode you want to watch. So you can pause it, you can see the different information. 
you've got the uh, name of the show, the runtime, uh, the basic description of the show. You've got all the different ones. Quite a good interface on it. Yeah, that's basically it. And the great thing about Plex is someone's on the forums made the um, a plugin for XBMC, and that's the old. Uh, Xbox Media Player. It's based in an OS for it, and it just makes turns the Xbox into a media center. And they've created this plugin which allows you to uh, view and take the video from a Plex Media Server and pl play it on to an Xbox. Uh, that's really gone out of the Xbox and really gone onto PC. And recently, they uh, produced a live CD version of XBMC. So downstairs, and I'll do a video on this in the a week or so we've got a media center computer and we can play uh, things from the server on this TV uh, just using an old um, a piece of old crappy media center computer which we got for like 20 quid so it's really good but yeah if you've got any questions about this do ask below if you've got any comments uh, don't forget to like and subscribe